Good morning guys, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, just a bit sleepy. I've woken up early because today I'm going to my granny's. She is, it's planting season and so she wants me to take her some maize seeds uh, to plant. Apparently the maize seed because she's very particular at the maize seed number that she plants and she says it's being sold at a very high price uh, in her local area in Narigiangare. So since I live near Narok town, she told me to go and look for the maize. I looked for it. I think I showed you guys last time, right? So I left it at the shop because it was heavy instead of me coming with it over here, pay for motorbike and then pay again to take it to town. So this morning, um, woke up early so that I can go over there, take the maize seeds for her and then i'll be back i'm also carrying my keondo as usual this one is my milk bottle when i go there i know most likely i'll get milk so i'm gonna carry it so that i can ferment it and make some mala this one she came to visit me last time she was here and they brought me some uji i think they bought it from my nephew's restaurant so i'm gonna take it to grandma because i'm sure she can find use of an extra bottle this one she brought me some fermented milk and so i'm thinking let me take it to her because you know if she ever visits me again and she doesn't have a bottle she might as well use this this one are sacks that she's given me before to carry various things like potatoes or um, maize for the chicken so i'm just i usually try and return the sacks that she gives me because she, um, she has a lot of use for them than me and this one here is one of those weevil gunias that she had sent me to see if you know they can protect the maize from the weevils upon harvest so she says she has several but she wanted one more so i'm taking this there as well so my kendo is already <laughs> packed but i have this bag i'll go and do a little bit of shopping for her i don't have money but um you know i won't go empty-handed i'm thinking i'll buy her some biscuits because she likes snacking on like cakes mandazis you know bread because uh, she's not a healthy eater by the way as long as she drinks tea even if it's plain tea she's good to go so i think i'm just gonna carry this to do a little shopping for her carry some biscuits that she can be taking with her to the shamba to snack with and then what else oh yeah i've been saying i'll buy her peanut butter so i'll also buy peanut butter for her and she loves sprite so just a little shopping that i can afford and then take those to her and that's it and then i hope i'll be back sooner she had also sent me some fertilizer so i'll also check the price of that and then buy them as well if she wants it look at that So I finally boarded a pro box which serves as the main mode of public transport in my area and we stopped at a small town called Tulele and I noticed not just the geese behind or those ducks but also this big uh, peak. So we continued with our journey from Narok town to Naira Genkare and as you can notice uh, for the most part this road or land in this road is mostly undeveloped although we have some small pocket towns in between and i would actually equate this road to a state road back in the u.s as opposed to a freeway and i don't know if you saw some of these i, want, I, don't, I think they are monkeys or baboon well they're not baboons chimpanzees i don't know a monkey related animal uh, that we have on these roads which are really cute Growing up, uh, for the most part, this road, you know, the stretch all the way to Nairobi used to have a lot of potholes. It wasn't as well kept as it is now. And I'm thinking, thanks to tourism, um, I remember one time coming from the U.S. and visiting home and I was so surprised how well the road was maintained. But for the most part, for the few, you know, short time that I've been here since moving back, the road has been well kept. Although this section currently does not have any wild animals, I still think it's one of the most scenic sections, road sections of the county. However, I remember growing up as a kid uh, when we go to Nairobi, 
I would see a lot of wildlife including zebras, giraffes, antelopes um, but they actually shifted all to the Mara and I remember visiting the Mara sometime in 2022 and some of the Maasai's who work there you know they would ask you where you're from and I would tell them that I'm from this part of the county and they would tell them well you guys chased away all the wild animals now they've come to us to the Mara apparently according to them all the wild animals used to exist in this part of the county uh, however i guess due to development and uh, farming the animals shifted so the village where i grew up in Naro county is called nairagi Nkare or nairagi Nkare, and i believe it means where the waters lay still and these are the waters that you just saw there and my understanding unless i'm wrong obviously is that this is a natural dam i, I don't think it's a man-made dam i probably need to ask but growing up i've always understood that it's a natural dam uh, and the waters just lay still here and I remember a few years ago there was hardly any water I don't know if it's because of drought however growing up I've always saw water here but a few years ago I noticed there wasn't water and then the rain rains came back and uh, the water came back and people had even started developing the section where the, the water used to be when it was dry but then they realized oops water came back again so they stopped developing there so that's where uh, the village or the area gets its name from uh, Naira Genkare the place where waters lay still I stand corrected though in that definition so like most rural areas even some parts of the US but mostly I believe uh, at least in Africa or in Kenya most of the rural roads uh, still need to be worked on and to be improved and so are the roads in our area and i remember some time back i don't know if it's a year or two i saw one of these major news outlets i don't remember if it's citizen tv or something and they were showcasing where you, should i say the bread basket of the country and was one of them narrow county even some places in mautu not just Nerigienkare. and so they were showing where most of the food comes from uh in in the country you know potatoes corn and so we are known for farming and but there are so many kikuyus in Eregienkare and so because kikuyus are also known uh, to like farming so I remember us being on the TV but they were highlighting the fact that one of the challenges or one of the funny things is that the places which provide uh, food to the country such as Nerigienkare and Nyandarua the roads are really poor they need to be well maintained so we finally made it to Nerigienkare town and it was market day that's why it looked busy but it's less busy right now growing up when me and grandma used to go to work in the market selling boga and stuff the market day Nerigenkare was so so full on market days but because the other small towns are popping up now the attention or the activity has shifted to other markets so it's no longer as busy as it used to be during my days as I grew up. Because I had a lot of stuff that I had brought with me uh, from Narok that my grandmother had sent me, farm stuff, basically fertilizer and maize seeds, I asked the taxi driver to drop me home because I figured these items would be a lot for me to transport in a motorcycle and I'd either have to walk or get a separate motorcycle and the cost would almost be the same. So plus, you know, I had surgery so I don't need to be you know, Kurusha Rushua Ju being bumped on the road. But guess what? The road was not even, so I still got bumped anyway. So I just arrived and I love my granny's place. It's so pretty. These are her cows. Well, that black and white one, I believe it's not hers. And there's usually two dogs, a black one and a brown one. I don't know where black is. Do you guys know this? I think it's stinging nettle. It's so grown. Um, but it's a vegetable, very healthy. So this is my granny's home. This is where I grew up. This is where I grew up. That's my uncle's house, uh, my other uncle's house. 
and that's my granny's house but i didn't grow up here actually i grew up we used to we had a we had built like a mud house somewhere around there that's where i grew up all the way through high school until i finished high school so, and then i went to the states still in the house of mud and then came back many years later and my mom had built this house for my grandmother i used to climb this tree when i was young it's a jacaranda tree the one with the purple flowers this one here is usually dangerous i hear it lifted one of my cousins he's a male and he's uh he's really tall and he he would go around it without a stick and i hear it it lifted him up <laughs> and threw him up like a ball so it's not good to come around it without a stick but yeah i'll close the gate and go say hi to granny she hasn't seen me yet Suba. Hey boy, Suba. No, okay. No, don't be nervous. Hey. Nike. Hey. 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 Eh, get ye hani ni no dire moru. Eh. Oh hani, hani. No ni ni rai gwa hari o kamuhari. Eh, o kai gwa re re. Eh. Dore dore ta modo tare wa dejo. O kai o kai gwa dore ta modo tare wa dejo. Eh. O kai gwa ori ona kaudo. Yani tiruo. Eh, no ni rai gwa Bado kidogo. Bado kidogo. Eh. Hey. Eni. Hey, Ati gaili o hanini. Hanini o guo, hashe ki o guo guo guo. Gaili eko hanini o ngeo na uwe nye ye ki angare na angare. Eni. Hey, eh. Do. Yo domo na abu di wo. Eh, hey, wako ya kwa maria mwe. Eh, hey, nenyi ige mwono ishi. Nenyi siya seho. Nye demo eka kukwa na duga ati deo kenoka kodu gira kedo. Eto <laughs> dika. ndio <laughs> 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 Nyoko lilika na kama huko kwa wangu lilika na 28. Eh. Hey. Kae mbebeo. Eta kere edaka. Enyore ya edaka. Neke enu elona kata ale tikerea. Ke. Ta ale tuwe di. Ta ta. Ya hata huko. Enu ala utikerea. Heo tiere ogoraga. Eh. Hey. Eh. Hey. Heo dako lile ediru. No, re re Ashatishiyoveihade. <laughs> 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 Hade <laughs> Ndiyo <laughs> 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 
Na Kwa <laughs> Eno na ni direji ya ni thatini na ni urona ni rako la narua na ega kora wega Eni wega na koyo ria Eni o o o thatini neno tuwe diyeiti Iko ya gogo kora udo umwe Hei Dora mene no angoli leka muko kamo ka ka tuwe diyeiti Gaki umira ate ya Wega kebe beke iga no Oh Eni, dati ni neo, ado kumaha nata magura ga kere ya muno. Dati ni, reu dati ni tire kuo, reu tuwe oreda ga dati ni ya kato ni, na neo etare kuo, kore ya dorete. Na bagiti yeka umagoro, for fifth haba haure ogura ga mana. Reu gako ni ya nikodera onire ka uga six to dati ni, hada ishi gogo bebeo tijoru na neo to ireo hada ga. Bila keme dora aga koni ya jie jame ona. Tiko ade ya. Kwa kilo isi komi. Gego elile neta mwushere kana shukari. Kwa kile mwushere kana motu wa bagiti na wa ikoni ya. Ikoni ya no orako ya niri ya tene joru. He's the other dog that was missing. Hey Blacky. What are you doing? So I hear a lot of crying in here. Oh, look at this one. Guys, do you remember this hen? It used to be at my place. Grandma had lent it to me for a few weeks or months because it was the oldest compared to the ones that she had given me. And so we made a pact that after it hatched, I should return it to her. So I did return it to her and look at it. It has 10 cheeks. And it sounds like they are hungry. It's usually very fierce. I fear it. So I'm gonna help her give it some water and more food. So I've brought them some food and water, but the mother actually pours the food down with her feet. 
she just knocks it off the plate. This hand looks so pretty, isn't it? I love the way it looks. These ones hear me talk and they just come over. Hmm? Guys, it looks like it's gonna rain and I have to go back home today. So I decided to take a quick tour of grandma's farm. See, she has these, what do you call it? Pumpkin leaves. I think I'm gonna carry a few to cook. I wasn't planning on doing and carrying any greens. She's getting her farm ready to plant the maize. That avocado tree has the best avocado. Um, I actually asked one of her farm hand helpers to help me uh, tuna. <laughs> Is it harvest? Pick a couple so that I can go and put them, what do you call it, store them and see if they will ripen. This one here has a, bears a lot of fruits but it doesn't have the best one. So nothing really to show in the farm. So you can see it's basically all plowed. I think getting ready for farming. Okay, I'm gonna pick a few of these leaves. I love how these dogs follow me whenever I come to the shamba. They're just chilling here. As I pick the pumpkin leaves, by the way. Yay, I love pumpkin leaves. With ugali, tastes really good. He has always planted this maize, 6213, and she sent me 6213. But now, because she saw my maize, and I think it was 628 or 629, and also one of her sons plants, I think, 628, and she's seen how grown those maize are now she doesn't want this she wants the 628 and i'm asking her why didn't you tell me and i could have brought it or looked for it and she says well i'm old i forgot about that one and last time she wanted 6213 and uh, we couldn't find it so she sent me 628 and she planted it and she says it yielded really good so i didn't think of telling her about it because i thought maybe it didn't do a good yield because she was specific on the phone on thursday last week she's like make sure you get me 6 to 13. but now she seems to be changing her mind and we've already bought eh? Eh? <laughs> Naba irere. Eh. naba. Era uga atea. Ne ne chia isi. Eh. Ne guan ne guan ne guan isi. Era uga atea. Oh oh na ija togo la gani. Eh. Muko kaga kilo irere. Eh. Togo la goro isi. Eh. Eh. Eh one o kana ne da ko hania. Eh. Ne da ko hania bego. Eh eh eh. Gen 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 dera gesi ona ha o o o la hania ke. So this is a 5 liter bottle and it's about half so that's almost 2.5 liters there. So guys I made it to my granny's and I actually didn't want to stay long because today is a Monday I want to rest on Tuesday and then Wednesday I have a court case so you know that steamer case <laughs> so you know we're about to finalize it so obviously I need to appear uh, in court on Wednesday so I do, she wants me to sleep so that we can cool and cuckoo and stuff so I told her I can't so she insisted that we ginger we slaughter chicken so that I can carry it with me and cook it at my place because she's saying if I carry it live that I'll end up just keeping it and not slaughter it so she insisted that we slaughter our chicken so that's what we're about to do luckily I've seen the sun has come out so it's not about to rain again so yeah I want us to slaughter the chicken then I head out because it's 2 p.m. right now heading to 3 you know I have a long way to go I don't want to get home Usiku uh, when it's dark so yeah that's what's going on I'll keep you posted so here I'm basically boiling water to dip the chicken in so that I can be able to remove the feathers <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to
Atene kuona na. He maftani. Kwanja <laughs> 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 Atea. Ah, yes, I'm a taboom. No coge, not a pouty. At the Jamatake? Taboom. Taboom. I just find her so pretty. Look at this other one. Tumba. Jacula. <laughs> 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 Guys, I bought my granny this refrigerator many years ago, about 10 years ago. I came once to visit and uh, I bought it in Narok for 40k. My mom, the last time she was here, she painted the walls of her house. And I see there's some new color. Um, that they've painted on the doors the blue color because they used to be just brown like I guess the original wood color Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hey. Eh? pantry. pantry. Yeah, 
mauko hii yote hiyo ni mafuta mafuta eh hii ah unaona ni ya roho hii hiyo ni mafuta tupi hii Teti umeita aje na wenye naipenda. Gatitibo hiyo. Gatitibo. Guys, so here's the whole chicken, so I'm gonna freeze it now when I get home. And that's it guys, my kiondo is now full. Chicken, greens, avocados and milk. Thank you, grandma. She has a few dishes which I've decided to wash for her before I leave. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to visit one of my neighbors and the dogs followed me as usual whenever I'm home wherever I go they usually follow me and just look at what a beautiful home my neighbor has look at the stones the gate I just feel like he's done a wonderful job I don't know if you can see the detail in this stone, it's really shiny and nice. So guys, I am I'm in my neighborhood and one of our neighbors who lives abroad, I heard from the grapevine that he's around and so I wanted to go say hi to him because I've last seen him when I was a really young girl, not even first grade I think when he was in high school with my uncle and the reason why I was looking for him to say hi to him is because I also wanted to give him my heartfelt gratitude because my understanding is that he was black is he was really instrumental in my mom's uh, journey in abroad so I wanted to say hi to him and say thank you but I've knocked and knocked and knocked and no one opened the gate although I could peek inside and I could see one of the doors was open there's also a shop outside his home hey he's Jengada nice place even the compound inside looks beautiful from you know peeking but anyway yeah I was looking for him just to say thank you but Jambata until next time I guess I don't know if you remember this cow, the one with the horns, it's my grandma's, it's the mother to some of the other black cows and um, man it has lost so much weight, I'm really surprised, it's a really big cow, I mean, it's not the one, hey, Mbaka I can't even remember it, let me go ask. Wait. Nigger and Nado, you for his soup, but I 
The farm is nice and in Gishu. And the cows are good. Nice and die in Dare Vogi. And even the goats. Vogi togi. Everything. God has given us good stuff. And the lights are gone. Let me sign off, guys. I gotta go to Narok. I shall go. And she says, You all have God. Uh, God shepherds uh, everyone, all of us. God shepherd you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm. Hey, yeah, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for God who's in heaven. Hey, yeah, bye. Hey, you not all the city. All the city. All the city. Bye. All the city. All the city. Thank you. Bye, guys. Hey. Guys, it's raining heavily, and unfortunately, I have to go today so that I can rest tomorrow and be ready for court on Wednesday and this dog we have two dogs at my grandma's a brown one and a black one and they usually follow me whenever I leave I don't even call them they just follow me and now it's raining so the brown one decided to go back but this one here imagine it's following me and then Kwanzaa it got is it beaten by two other dogs on the way? So I think it's even more scared to go back that I can't take it back. Oh, I'm so drenched. Luckily I carried an umbrella, but I am so drenched. See? Oh, so drenched. But I have to go today. I don't know where we're gonna pass here by foot. And that's it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, I wish you all the best in your endeavors. And I really appreciate your support by watching, liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing.